In this video, we do the mechanical inspection of a slip ring motor. I have prepared for us a motor we use for training purposes and just a quick overview. The outer inspection or design looks like a, a standard induction AC machine or motor and it's got all the similar features uh, except for maybe one or two uh, visual changes or differences and so you can see the, the electrical connections is brought out into an external box for connection for training purposes and I want to have a look at a few things and point out where it's similar there's a shaft so that shaft can be turned. We've got the key on the shaft, the flat part, slightly different to other keys. There's the bearing housing, the bearing is behind that. And that is part of the front end shield. So you check that for cracks, the cooling fins is there, not uh, broken, all in a good condition. There's the base or the mounting, you check that for cracks. You check the fan cover for cracks to see if it's mounted properly as well. There's the fan behind it housed on the inside. And there's the brush housing. And so we want to just also know what's important to inspect. And so uh, I've, while I'm just preparing to open up this machine you can see there's a list of things what to inspect all of them very important um, for pre-installation or just to do an assessment of a motor and to see the condition of it there you have a, a good solid list of the most important things that you need to speak about and visually and have to assess and so as you can see there, I'm just uh, opening and I'll start with the, the back cover where the fan is and uh, I've got some screws there that I need to hold or uh, at least uh, loosen in order for me to remove the screws that keeps the machine together. So for me to have loosened the front part or any part, I have to have access to the back section so that I can I can just loosen them. So I'll remove all of the screws and then I'll remove the, or at least the nuts first, and then I'll remove the screws. And in that way I can get and loosen the front end plate. In this case, it's just one long screw going from front to back, keeping the whole machine together. And so I've removed all of them and now I just want to remove the front end plate they don't always come off easily sometimes the bearing is lodged in there and you just don't get them out and so this is a very sensitive and delicate uh, procedure that you need to be careful don't use unnecessary force or hammers and stuff that would uh, possibly damage and so you can see there I've got it off and uh, that's the front bearing moves nicely in the case of inspecting you will not open this machine uh, this is an experiment uh, me opening and showing you what it looks like so you will just turn the shaft and hear for any noise or, and you will maybe also turn it to see if there's any play on the bearing in this case it won't turn that nicely because the front end, uh, end shield is not mounted for that to be spot on center. There's not much tolerance in between the rotor and the, and the stator. So I won't force it. And you can see there the windings on the stator. Also you can see visibly the windings on the rotor. And that's very interesting. That's the front part. Let's see if we can have a look and see if we can possibly get our eye on the slip rings so in order for that to happen I need to get this back end plate off and so I first have to remove the fan 
that uh, silver clip suppose needs to come off first then the fan and then the uh, back end cover or end shield so it will be interesting to see when I get the back end shield off or not maybe we can just have a quick look and see what it possibly looks like it'll be interesting and then we'll have a, a look at the brushes as well uh, pull them out uh, in this case this won't move further because the brushes is now pushing up against the slip rings and so when I pull it past its place it'll obviously just go into a uh, stop everything from moving so to further see what we're talking about I'm gonna just remove the lid for one of the brushes and we see even the condition of it it'll be interesting to see what they look like these the springs they're in a good condition these the brushes you can see the contact points in front that runs um, that pushes against the slip rings inside and so that's still in a fairly good condition it's still almost brand new again these motors are used for training purposes so they don't they're not on all the time or run all day in order for me to pull that out a little bit further the router I need to remove all of these brushes and we can also just look at the condition of them they go in only one particular way there's a slot for it the rectangle part goes in a certain way and you can see the second one is in a good condition third one fits in there very nicely like I say this is very delicate um, parts and you can also see why this motor would have high maintenance because of all these parts that can wear out and hopefully we can get a look there and see okay so it's getting stuck there a bit there's nothing on the other side and I can't also push that means the bearing is holding it and keeping it in place so that won't come out further but we have a look at the we can see visually the slip rings and maybe I can just lift this motor a little bit there's no way this is going to come out I'm not going to force this I want this motor to still work when I put everything back so if if we can have a look there maybe see all three slip rings there we can we can see one or two of them right there we go so the furthest shiny one in front that's the first slip ring so this first brush would push up against that one then the second one behind it and the third one at the back and so I would imagine that the two here on the left hand side those housings would be for the outer two and the other one would be the center one in the back because there won't be space on the same side for it but they do the exact same job so because we can't see it I'm uh, just showing you those black arrows would be representing the brushes pushing up against these slip rings so that is the best I can do there and hopefully that will give you a better idea so I think I can put this back you can see there I'm just reassembling being very careful as to how I put them back no force I'm not using any tools as I took them out I put them back together again very carefully put the fan cover back best possible way make sure everything's tight again this motor needs to go back into the workshop and it needs to run like it did before putting all the screws back and so I hope this was um, an eye-opener to have an idea of what we're looking at and what we need to do when we mechanically inspect or test again you're not gonna open this machine like I did you're gonna you're gonna speak about the things that you saw now 
and uh, at least when you see the names and the terms you know what it is that you're talking about um, because it is important that you understand what the insides are about and how they are put together and the function of all these parts okay everything's running freely and it looks like we've literally come to the end of this video thank you so much